Okay, in this video I'm going to uh, go over how I'm using uh, Trimble's Scan Essentials extension for SketchUp to work off a point cloud and basically um, create a, a floor plan or a volumetric um, model of, of elements out of a scan. So what I'm working with here, as you can see, is a scan of our classroom. Uh, two station scan, nothing too fancy, really a simple one, but uh, just a way to explain things. Um, I'm also not going to go over the scan essentials extension and some of the tools. So, some of those will come up, of course, but uh, that is covered elsewhere, of course. Okay, so before we get going, first of all, I do like to do this in parallel projection because then I can align things a little better. I can go into top view and, and so on and so forth, but uh, you don't have to do that. You can stay in perspective. Usually I like working in perspective with SketchUp, um, but, but you don't have to. So either way, um, it's completely up to you, but maybe give parallel projection a try because it makes your life a little easier. Um, so then <clears throat> the way I would start this is actually just by drawing a rectangle on the ground. Now if you remember here there are different snapping options whether uh, you um, basically allow SketchUp to snap onto the point cloud or to SketchUp entities. In this case actually I really don't want to snap onto the point cloud so I'm going to make sure SketchUp pick is on and then all I need to do Let's draw my rectangle. Okay, there we are. I'm gonna just turn it into a group so that it's a little less fuzzy. Um, now, obviously, it's drawn on the ground plane, and the ground plane in in, in my scan is uh, zeroed out at at one of the um, locations of of the scanner, basically at one of the lens locations. Um, this could be pre-processed, of course, in, in real works before you get it. Uh, your, your scan might be zeroed out properly, but in our case, we're um, just going to work with that. Okay, so that's one part. The other part um, also has to do with pre-processing. So as you saw, I loaded this point cloud in already, and what you couldn't see though is that um, I classified a bunch of elements in real works uh, so that I can now take uh, them apart and basically just show those. So in addition to the main cloud here, I do have classifications of ceiling, floor, remaining and walls, uh, which is great of course, um, because now you can go ahead and you can turn the ceiling off for example and uh, maybe even the floor. And remaining is basically all of these objects that were in there, uh, furniture and so on and so forth. So that I'm left basically with only the walls. Um, you may not have the luxury to do that, but if you do, that's a really good place to start. Um, and then we can uh, easily, you know, basically align things and, and uh, work with parts of, of the point cloud. Okay, so now I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back to my top view. And well, actually, one thing that I should do is find a slightly better shading. There you go, that'll do. Um, so that I can actually see the intersecting points. Now, this particular approach works for my um, room outline because it's fairly regular. It might not work for what you're doing, of course, but uh, in any case, next step would be to um, actually let's go back here and start properly. Um, would be to zero out the um, the rectangle, and actually for that step, I do need my floor, so I'm going to turn the floor on, <coughs> and just so that we can all see what's happening, I'm going to move my rectangle below the floor. Okay, so now I'd like to move it up again and of course snap onto the floor. So now with my rectangle going up, I'm going to switch to point cloud pick. I'm 
going to stay on the blue axis and then I'm simply going to you know hover over this floor here and now I can click and I have placed my rectangle properly on the floor. I'm going to get a little clipping here but there you go. You see now we're pretty good. Obviously there's the question of floor flatness <laughs> and that may not be um, uh, the proper zero point that you want but that is one one place to do it. Um, so now my um, section obviously is not going to be at the floor it's going to be four feet up so I'm going to move this one more time on the blue axis four feet and now it's perfectly where I want it to be. Okay.